with Severn. They give you all of the rigging specs right here at the opening of the bag. So if we take a look here, we can see that our mass is a 430. Extension is gonna be set to two and our broom should be 168. So we're gonna go ahead. We've got our 430 Severn mass that goes along with this sail. So we're good there. Our sail also tells us we need to have our extension set at two. So I'm gonna use the Severn Cyclops here and we are going to set our extension down at two, which it is. You can take a look down here at the bottom of the sail. It also tells us our rigging numbers that we need. So we have our mass sleeve on the left-hand side. We'll take two pieces of our mass. Our extension is supposedly set to two, which we already have done. We'll take the sleeve back. Perfect. Now, the Severn Cyclops extension, it's similar to like a loop and go. So you take your loop, it's going to thread through our pulleys. So it goes through the back side of the pulleys. And it hooks around this red tab here. And you can see all of our lines are parallel to each other. We don't have any crosses. Everything is nice and neat. From here, we can downhaul our sail. So take my foot. They give you a nice coated handle here so you're not tearing your hands apart. And we're gonna downhaul our sail. And we're watching the top of the sail, looking at where the battens are sitting. All right, so if you did not have the Severn Cyclops extension, and you had just a normal base extension, this is Severn's wave grenade, or if you had a Chinook one or a Goya one, um, we're gonna show you how to use that extension with your Severn sail. We have the end of our downhaul line, we're gonna go through the bottom closest to the mast side pulley, and we're basically gonna be stacking them and layering them on top of each other. So now we're on top of the pulley on the outside. We're gonna to go top of the pulley on the outside here. Take the bottom. And again, we're basically just building on top of the coils that we're making. So we can see we made one big loop. We're gonna build on top of that next one. So we go to the middle roller closest to the mast. Thread it through. And then we're on the outside, top of the pulley. We're gonna go outside, top of the pulley. Thread it through. You can see our next loop that we made is going nice and neatly right on top of the other. You can see everything is parallel to each other. We don't have any crossovers. Our final one, again, closest to the mast on top of all of our others. And then give it a nice little pull so you have some slack. And then we're gonna thread it through, holding that slack. And then we are going to downhaul our sail. And we can wrap it up. And we can stow it in this pocket right here. Now the first thing we're gonna do is take the head of the boom, we're gonna open it up, take off the string. Now, first thing you wanna do is thread that collar underneath the mast, get it seated inside of its slot, and from here, you close that red cage, thread the boom headline over top of there, and you're going to clamp it down. We're going to take our out haul. We are going to go underneath. And then right here, there is a loop. So it's another loop and go system. So you just loop it over top of there. You can look, we have another cleat for our out haul. So I'm going to pull nice and tightly. and then cleat it off once the leash of our sail is pretty much at the 
and the bark boom. Now, from here, we can take our up hold. And we're gonna go ahead and loop it around the bottom of our sail.